How to retarget people on Snapchat using Pixel Custom Audiences. Retargeting campaigns target people who have previously engaged with your business and remind them of your products and services. Retargeting helps you drive customers through the buyer funnel, increase sales and conversions, build customer loyalty, and stay top of mind with your current customer base. A Pixel Custom Audience is a powerful tool for conducting retargeting on Snapchat. It's a group of high-intent individuals who have engaged directly with your business in the past, such as browsing your website, making a purchase from you, and so forth. In this video, we'll walk you through how to create a Pixel Custom Audience and use it to retarget people on Snapchat. First, go to ads.snapchat.com to log into your Snapchat Ads Manager account. Once you've logged in, head to the Global Navigation menu in the top left corner and select Audiences under the Assets tab. This is where you can build different kinds of audiences. Click the New Audience or Get Started button and select the first option, Custom Audience. There are different kinds of custom audiences, each of which uses a different data source, but the one we want to choose here is labeled Website Events. Note that in addition to manually creating pixel custom audiences, Snapchat auto-generates a pixel custom audience for each unique pixel event in your ad account. Once that event reaches 1,000 matched users, However, auto-generated pixel custom audiences look back 30 days by default, whereas ones that you create here can look back up to 395 days. First, give your audience a name. We want to create an audience of people who have added products to their shopping carts on our website and try to get them to complete their purchases. So we'll call this pixel custom audience Add to Shopping Cart People. Next, choose your pixel. You likely only have one pixel, so it should be already filled in for you, as shown here. Then select the interactions you want to include. You can either type text in the search bar to find interactions or scroll through the list. We want ads to cart, so we'll choose that since it's one of the first ones. And we'll type checkouts in the search bar to find and add the checkout started interaction. Note that your audience will broaden as you choose more actions, which can be useful if your website isn't generating a lot of pixel activity yet. Your Pixel custom audience can match users who have performed specific actions on your site up to 395 days previously, so we'll leave the maximum here. Then we click the Create button and we can see the new audience in the Audience Library screen. You can see basic details about each audience you've created here. If you click the button with three dots under Actions, you'll see that you can share the audience with another ad account, which is useful if someone else is working with you on your ads, as well as delete the audience if you don't need it anymore. For the purposes of this video, we'll assume you've started creating a new ad with the website conversions objective. In the second step, which involves creating one or more ad sets, scroll down to the Audiences section, where you'll find the custom audiences that are available to choose from. When it comes to retargeting, you may want to try a strategy such as creating a pixel custom audience of people who have added products to their carts or started the checkout process, so you can encourage them to complete the purchase. Select one or more audiences and finish creating your ad. Note that you can exclude audiences as well as include them, which is another way to mix and match audiences to dial in your targeting. The Expand Audience Automatically option is checked by default. It allows Snap to expand your overall target audience to optimize your ad campaign's performance, so we recommend leaving it on, unless you have a very niche product or service and really want to make sure you're only targeting certain people. After you publish your ad, you can take a look at Manage Ads in Ads Manager to see how it's performing. You can see how many people have seen your ad and how many of them have taken the action you wanted, such as ads to cart or purchases. You can also visit Events Manager in the Assets tab to view your Pixel event activity over the past seven days. It's a sum total of all the events that have happened on your website. Click View Pixel Details to get more information about each Pixel event's total activity. The default view is the past seven days, but you can click the date range in the top right corner to see a longer time frame, such as 28 days or a length of time that you choose. Keeping tabs on your pixel activity helps you understand what's happening on your website as a result of your ad campaigns. For example, if you're trying to drive purchases on your site but you're not seeing a meaningful amount of that activity, you can move up the buyer funnel to add to cart or page views. Then you could create a pixel custom audience for one or more of those actions and conduct a retargeting campaign that attempts to get those people to complete their purchases. Congrats on adding this retargeting capability to your marketing toolkit. Thanks for watching this video about retargeting with a pixel custom audience.
Please reach out to your account manager for more information. And be sure to check out Snapchat's Business Help Center and for business.snapchat.com.